If your child is to undergo a surgery or procedure, it can reassure you to understand how the use of anesthesia can affect them. We went to Children's Hospital of Orange County and spoke to Dr. Vivian Tanaka. We asked her what a pediatric anesthesiologist does for their patient. A pediatric anesthesiologist is more specifically trained to uh, provide anesthesia for infants and children and that is because um, infants and children have clear um, anatomic, uh, physiologic, um, and emotional differences um, different from that of adults. And a pediatric anesthesiologist is trained to deal with all of that the uh, chalk pain management team. Combine the uh, knowledge and expertise of um, uh, pediatricians, uh, anesthesiologists, um, nurse practitioners, and even other pro professionals like child life specialists and, um, and physical therapists. We do everything we can to ease their child's, uh, the ch their child's uh, anxiety. And this includes um, in, uh, utilizing the help of child life specialists who may use distraction, play, music therapy, um, just generally um, calming their, chi their child's mood. Um, but we also ask the parents to ask as many questions as possible uh, because the more knowledge and information they have, the calmer they may be. And the child senses this. In addition, we may use, um, when appropriate, uh, pre-medication, um, and that is uh, a medication um, administered to the child. We typically have the parents help us with this, um, and that really helps to ease the uh, anxiety of separating from their parents and also smooths the induction of anesthesia. There's some evidence to show that um, when you decrease the child's anxiety prior to going into surgery, they may actually have um, less emotional disturbances coming out of anesthesia and that's why it's something that we really treat seriously. Dr. Tanaka explains the side effects of anesthesia. Some common side effects um, are nausea and vomiting or itchiness. Um, these are not complications of anesthesia. They're regarded merely as side effects, and we have medications um, to deal with that, um, and appropriate amount of, uh, amount of medication will usually take care of it. How can a doctor or anesthesiologist know if a child is in pain? For the slightly older child, we have a face chart uh, where there's a sequential um, uh, row of pictures going from a, a very unhappy face to a very happy face, and they can simply point to the picture to give us a sense of how, how badly they're hurting. Um, and in the infant or neonate, we look for um, biological or physical um, um, signs. Uh, maybe their heart rate is elevated, their blood pressure is elevated, they're breathing rapidly, or physical means of, you know, do they show signs of guarding? Um, do they uh, retract um, when we push because there's tenderness? Um, and a pediatric anesthesiologist is trained um, to be able to take all of this into account to accurately assess uh, a patient's uh, pain and how, much, and how much pain they're having. Overall, um, I think it's, it's really safe to say that um, children annually have received over a million anesthetics. The vast majority are very safe, done without complication. Um, and um, there's no real evidence to show that um, anesthesia leads to um, any sort of long-term negative effects. With their special training and experience, pediatric anesthesiologists can provide the safest care for infants and children undergoing surgery. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.